Today, we're taking a virtual trip over to Belgium to the aviaries of John Bully. He breeds and develops new mutations of the European greenfinch and black-headed greenfinch, some of which you'll never have seen before. So let's take a look. John has kept greenfinches since the age of 16. He learned the trade from his grandfather of keeping native birds and 37 years later, he's still at it. These are some of the mutations and mutation combinations which he currently keeps and breeds, some of which I can guarantee you'll never have seen before and you may not even think that they were possible to exist. In 2019, John first bred the Faro Greenfinch randomly from two normal parent birds. This turned out to be a cock bird, so the following year he paired it back to its mother and an unrelated hen, producing various Faro and split Faro offsprings. 
In 2021, he saw the fruits of his labour, with several pairs made up and a variety of quality young produced. He has since combined the line with the brown, also known as cinnamon mutation, giving good depth of colour as well as strong expression of the phao melanin across the feathers. The phaos have white underfeathers and when they hatch they have red eyes until they're 10 days old when they are then eventually darken. This is a recessive mutation, meaning both parents need to carry the gene in order to produce visual young. A new mutation John is also working with is known as the Sephira, a dominant mutation which will be combining this year with an agate line. The aim is to produce green finches almost completely white, exhibiting no melanin pigment with no yellow either. Something to notice is the difference mutation combinations make. Take for example the dominant yellow agate green finch versus the dominant yellow agate citron green finch. These are two birds side by side, both cockbirds. One extra mutation is making a huge colour difference, as you can see. John has achieved success breeding his green finches in large groups, consisting of one male to multiple hens. Last year, he paired one cock with six hens, and from three clutches each, produced 63 youngsters in total. He gives all his birds two different homemade teas. The first is made by stewing stinging nettle leaves and onion for seven days in a jar of hot water. This makes up approximately two litres of the tonic, which is given for three days every two weeks. Pine tea is also given, stewing pine leaves, pine resin and honey. This is given for four days per month. He's found both of these tonics have boosted fertility, controlled coccidiosis and eliminated black spot. Perhaps it's something that we should be trying. This is John's egg food mix. It contains eggs, biscuit, fresh sprout seed, petit pois, fresh orange juice and pinkies. He also gives rearing hens and eggs to feed their young on, which he collects from the garden. I'm hoping to go and visit John at his home in Belgium during the breeding season and after the molt to look at all his mutation greenfinches in more depth and to look at the rest of the birds that he also keeps because greenfinches aren't the only ones so I'm told. So if that's something you would like to see make sure you comment down below and let me know your thoughts. So I really hope you have enjoyed today's video looking at the mutation green finches of John Bully. If you would like to see more from O.C. Avery, then please make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any more future content. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook for daily behind the scenes footage of all the birds here at O.C. Avery. And finally, if you have enjoyed it today as well, make sure to smash a like on it. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thank you.